Welcome into Black and Gold Weekly. I am Max Bretos today joining you from midfield here at BMO Stadium. LAFC got their mojo back with back-to-back -back wins at Sporting Kansas City. A 1-0 win, statement win against the Seattle Sounders right here over the midweek. They were hoping to make it three out of three against a Vancouver Whitecaps team that had not won on the road all MLS season. Wasn't in the cards. The Whitecaps took a very early lead, made it 2 0 Denny Boanga would cut the lead in half as he gets his first goal since the first leg of the CONCACAF Champions League final, his 11th of the season. Really peculiar goal that led to the Whitecaps third to take a two goal lead once again. Carlos Vela would tuck away his sixth of the season to make it competitive, but alas, they would run out of time. The man of the hour, Ryan Golds, the Whitecaps midfielder with a goal and two assists and make no mistake, this is a result that will certainly be a foundation stone for the Whitecaps in the second half of the season. The black and gold playing shorthanded defensively. Aaron Long is away with the U.S. men's national team for the Gold Cup. Giorgio Chiellini started the game on the bench. Jesus Murillo dealing with an injury was unavailable. That meant that Ilya Sanchez started as a central defender alongside Daniel Maldonado. And defensively, there were concerns as the club allowed three goals at home in an MLS regular season game for the first time since 2021. After all is said and done, LAFC still tied on points in the West, although St. Louis City have the edge at the top thanks to goal differential. And only for the second time here at Fortress BMO this season, LAFC lose at home. And they know moving forward, this place has to remain a fortress. So anytime you can see three goals at home, it's hard to win. Um, and in the end, you don't deserve it. So. Uh, frustrating, but uh, it's the reality, and uh, we'll recover from this, learn from it, and move forward. Conceding a set piece that early is also also makes it difficult, and you try to push, and you and you try to tie, and so you're always then exposing uh, your back line a little bit, uh, playing more man to man. But um, you know, even though they had a good match plan, I just I just think uh, I think maybe we lost it more than they wanted. LAFC can take a big exhale now because for the first time since the end of April, they do not have a midweek game, meaning no game on a Tuesday, no game on a Wednesday. Obviously, they would have liked to have some momentum with a result against the Vancouver Whitecaps, but it wasn't in the cards. Steve Cherundolo, I had a chance to talk to him. He said he is looking forward to a full week of training where the team can get back on the rails, recharge the batteries. In specific, he said, I am looking forward to working in small groups valuable time for the black and gold as they prepare for their next game, which will be the following Saturday against FC Dallas. Dallas didn't play this past weekend. Jesus Fedeta, their star striker, is with the U.S. men's national team at the Gold Cup and only one win in their last five. But they'll be well rested and looking to exact some revenge against LAFC, who beat Dallas back in March 2-1 thanks to an 84th minute goal from Denny Buanga. Going to come to steady himself here. Whips over back and it's in. So much power on the head from Buanga. You can see all the action starting at 5.30 local time on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. LAFC for the time being, even though St. Louis City are number one in the standings, LAFC equal on points and look to start a new winning streak.